Four years and four months ago, I met you at a friend's wedding. And that night when I laid eyes on you for the first time, I told my friends, damn, he's the most handsome guy in the room. I still remember how we were first introduced and how you said, hey, in your too cool day, stone cold face. Fast forward to today. I still can't believe that I'm standing here in front of you about to become your wife. I never believed in fate, nor that there is that one person out there for me who will love me unconditionally. You know, my soulmate. But you changed that. That night we met, I believe that was fate. We were both at a point in our lives where we could have easily continued on our self-destructing paths. We were both in need of saving. But in each other, we found the strength and courage to better ourselves. Together, we had hope and started working for a better future. Good afternoon, everyone. Zay and Loida are very grateful to have all their dearest friends and family here on their special day. This handsome groom and beautiful bride experienced a powerful love at first sight. Loida saw Zay in his purple shirt with his super cute Bruno Mars haircut and knew something was extra special about this man. This beautiful and strong connection that they share now did not come without its challenges. The first challenge happened the very night that they met. The bride had told Zay that Loida was in a relationship, although she was single. When Loida had first approached Zay that night, Zay proceeded to give her the cold shoulder. All of a sudden, Bruno Mars didn't look so cute. But as time went on that night, the universe pulled them closer and closer until they finally had a chance to speak again, clearing the air on Loida's dating status and beginning to form the relationship. The next challenge came a few days later when Zay had to fly to Alberta for work. These two love bugs were far too caught up in the moment and had forgot to exchange information. This prompted Zay to reactivate his longly dormant Facebook account to conjure up and write the most romantic status he could think of. Nurses are hot. Back here in Winnipeg, Loida was thinking the same thing about using Facebook to find Zay, searching and searching until finally learning how to switch that Z for an X. Then she found Zay and sent him a message asking for his number. You're a lucky man. That being said, a little after a month preceding their first date, Zay and Loida's love was put to the ultimate test. Before these two had even met, Zay had gotten himself into some trouble. Zay was sentenced to prison, with the date of incarceration being just one month after that very first coffee date. And this news was extremely hard for Loida to digest, and there was nothing that she could change. For weeks, they were not even allowed to see or speak to each other. This was without a doubt the most spiritual, emotional, mental, and physical battle that Zay and Loida have and ever will have to go through in their lives. And then, after seven months of struggle, you were finally able to express all the dimensions of your love. Having gone through this profoundly dark and hard stretch, Zay and Loida, you now beam with light. Together, you are a team destined for greatness, influencing positivity and unconditional love everywhere you go. Loida, 
I've always known it was you. The moment you walked through those doors, I saw a great girl with a great smile, and I couldn't help but stare. You gave me that magical feeling that I've been wanting for so long. You sparked something in me that I didn't know I could feel. Then when we were finally able to meet in person, I can only remember how badly I wanted to impress you. I took you to Starbucks even though I hate the smell of coffee, but it was all worth it since I got to hold your hand. Our first kiss in the parking lot of your apartment still feels like yesterday. Our first time apart showed me that someone could actually care for me enough to stick around. You didn't give up on me. You stayed with me and endured everything that came our way. We fought, we cried, but we always found a way to each other. And that's when I knew, I knew I couldn't let you get away. I had found my soulmate for the first time. You have made me a lucky man to be the one standing here with you. I know promises can be broken and that words are just words. But I'll always be the man you fell in love with. I will be your rock. I will support you through the best days and in our lowest days. I will continue to take care of you and make you soup when you're drunk. I will love and appreciate you with each passing day. You are my rock, my adventure, my purpose, and my love. Dear Loida, our day is finally here. <laughs> I'm filled with excitement to be able to see you walking down the aisle. I can't hold back my emotions and tears. Uh, just thinking of how beautiful and sexy you're gonna look. I'm so blessed and lucky to have the honor to ask you to be my wife today. My dear Zara, this is it. The day we have been waiting for in the last 27 months is finally here. I know I don't say this as much as I should, but I really want you to know, I really know I am the luckiest man to get to be the one you want to spend the rest of your life with. I have been so in love with you, I could have married you years ago. Any time, any place. But you insisted that we have a big day of celebration because we deserve it. And that our love, our story, and the life we have made together so far is a miracle worth <clears throat> celebrating. Every day I will work my hardest to make you happy and spoil you with affection and love. I will be the best husband and future father for our children when the time is right. You will be the best wife and future mother. I really can't have asked for a better woman to share this day with. It's our day and I can't wait to see you. Love you. younger we'd always stay up all night talking about boys mostly and whenever I asked about marriage she said that was a no but I kept urging I'm like no it will happen so there was a time after that when something was different about you even though I see <laughs> so I wish and pray that she'd find her happiness again then you came along Uncle Faye. I never saw her smile as big or laugh as hard when she was with you and then we talk about boys again. <laughs> but it was only you for her. I see how you put me above all else. I have truly been blessed with a man who loves me unconditionally. I want to start by coming clean. It's been very difficult having to lie to you and hide things from you in the last few months. But please remember that I did it all out of love. And the bag is my wedding gift for you, for us. 
I can't wait to see you at the end of the aisle waiting for me. P.S. Remember, no crying. Spoiler, tell me, okay? Love your fiance. Together, as husband and wife, you are about to embark on the greatest journey of your lives. I'll ask those of you who pray to pray today for Zay and Loida to have a forever loving and value-adding marriage together. Loida showed us that we should be closer to our family as possible because that's all we have. So Zay kind of showed more emotion. I was surprised because he never showed any emotion when he was around me. So I'd like to thank Loida and her family for showing Zay how to be a man with a heart. Zay, Moira, by the power vested in me through the province of Manitoba, I now pronounce you husband and wife. You may kiss the bride. Some of us survive, some of us just roll me, some of us just hope in the world.